So imagine you're kidnapped, taken to a strange house, and learn that in 15 minutes someone is coming to kill you. What do you do? Well, we're gonna find out in today's game. Project Selene, where exactly that happens. Now, I had planned to do a big funny intro as I usually do in my videos, but the game's introduction serves to fulfill that role, which you'll see in a second. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to drop a like on it, and links will be in the description below as always. Welcome to Project Selene, and let's get right into it, shall we? Alrighty, boys, here we go. Welcome to Project Selene. Uh, a game where we get kidnapped and must deal with a spooky cult. Although this doesn't look like a uh, gas station we should have stopped at, to say the least. Hello, I just want to pay. I don't think there's anyone there. Nope, there, there's no one here, I don't think. I guess free gas. No, wait. Okay. Well then, that's an interesting start. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. So we got shot. Is it like a... Uh, blank or rubber bullets or something? Huh, right. Okay, so yeah. That's an interesting start. It would seem like all the animation budget went into, like, Celine herself, or all the visual effects budget. I need to actually turn on the graphics settings because it's stuttering quite badly, so one second. That's a bit better. Also, the sensitivity is insane. Hello, how's it going? Are you okay? Come on, we've got to get out of here. I don't feel well. They hurt you? Let me see. You're bleeding? Stay here while I find a way out. Well, didn't she get shot? Thank you. I'm so sorry I dragged you into this. Everything will be fine. You'll see. Okay, so what do you mean she dragged us? It means is did she literally run towards the car thinking I could help and then I got like blasted too? It's closed, but it seems it is not screwed to the wall. Okay, so we need to find something to do that. Locked, although the handle looks very worn. So we can break the handle or we can deal with the screw. We've also got something over here, I think. Nope, it's just blood on the wall. Ah, what's this? Stone. Well, we know where that stone is going. It's getting used to bash open this door. So yeah, I've seen a few people play Project Selene. It's like a... Jesus Christ, okay. We get it, we get it. Angry much? This is a light. It is, we have a light, we can see now. Lovely. Okay, that's actually really cool. I like the way this is done. So yeah, this is, as I said, a survival horror game, or a psychological horror game, where we just gotta find a way out, pretty much. We unfortunately cannot play piano. And... So we should go answer that. And as I, oh my god, it's still ringing. Okay, right. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Do you have the girl? They say this is a fine specimen. We are 15 minutes from arriving. I'm dying to meet her. Ah. Uh, Hello. We need to get out of here. Yeah, definitely. So. I guess we got 15 minutes to get the fuck out. Now, as I was saying before, I got like interrupted by that call. I've actually seen a few people playing this game on YouTube. So I was kind of interested to give it a look and see how it was. It's locked, of course it is. The game does seem interesting anyway. Can open things, okay. This has made this like infinitely more complex. We got a book. So I guess the book goes over here on the bookshelf. Probably like a puzzle with it. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure. Ah, yes, here we go. Five left to complete. So we gotta find five books, apparently. And the music is 
kind of creepy already. Okay. We can sprint. Any books in here? Doesn't look like it. Reading on the t toilet of this hall? I don't think so. I guess downstairs or upstairs we go. Oh, God. Think I'm stuck? No, I'm not. Okay. Alright, so we want to go this way. It seems it's also got, like, default controller controls. And it swaps the keyboard and the mouse as you get closer. All kind is missing, but I see a screwdriver inside. Ah, right. So we need that for the box downstairs. Another book. Yeah, the game does have, like, uh, some optimization issues, to say the least. And it also has, like, some serious sensitivity options. Or well, not options, but lack of options. Like, I feel that if I even move my mouse more than an inch, it's going to fly off the screen. Nothing here. Oh, something on the wall. Ah, satanic symbol. You'd love to see it. And there's a red mask there. There's a mask up there. Two. Oh, this door is now open. Okay. Let me guess. As soon as something stuck, should I reach in with my hand? Yeah, go on. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> it was a dead person stuck in there. I do like the character's reaction to the environment. The body's gone. Okay. <laughs> We got the kitchen key, right. So I guess that's where we're going next. Out real quick. It's locked, of course it is. Right, so I guess... Next on the list. We didn't go in here, did we? No, we didn't. Wait, is there something in there? No, it isn't. The light's fucked, okay. A third book. You love to see it. Thing in here. Well. Sound like a Okay. Ha. Huh. Right. What the fuck? I didn't even see that body, man. What the hell? I guess this game probably follows more of a psychological horror than survival horror motif. I guess this is the kitchen in here as well. Yes, it is. Johnny, please fix that damn clock ASAP. It gave me the worst scare of my life. It started to ring and the door opened by itself. It gives me chills just remembering it. It's been two nights in a row since it does it, and it always stops at the same time, 2.45. I don't know if that helps you. Maybe the mechanism has... What the fuck? Something's stuck. I hope you can manage... I can't get the image out of my head. All right, so 2.45. In the fridge, we have... Is that a book? No, it isn't. I was about to say... People keep books in weird places. Alright, so. Clock at 2.45. I guess, wasn't there a clock in here? No, I, yeah, there was. But this one doesn't work. We need to find the hand for the other clock. Oh, we can just leave the front door, can we? Your thing, it is locked. Of course it is. There's got to be a place to find the clock hand. Because I refuse to believe that it would bring me here just for a note. So there's probably a hand here somewhere as well. Right? I guess not. There's nothing here. I guess it was really just to get a note. 
So I guess we need to find two more books. As well as a clock hand. Which I have absolutely no idea where one would be. If you can't mess with this one at all. Definitely nothing in here. Or in the piano. The piano is not textured enough to actually be a um, interactable item. So I guess there's something up here. Yeah, we need to get that clock hand, I guess. We get the clock hand, we put it in the position of 245. And then that will give us our screwdriver. Was there something in the bathtub? Like, I feel there should have been something in there, right? Like something in the bathtub after we dealt with the dude in there. The imagery, yes, we know. Ah, here we go. We haven't checked in here. Another book. We need one more book, I think. Can I interact with the piano? Ah, there it is. Right there. That's all our books. Cool. So we're gonna bring the books back, and that'll likely give us our clock hand. Which we can then do the objective with. There we go. The passageway. This is not a survival horror game without some secret passages. Weird film projector. Okay. Getting some Resident Evil 8 vibes here. Benevito Estate. I really hope there's no demon baby running around. Oh, that's not good. Okay. No idea what that was about. But it also did not give me anything. No clock hand, no? Can I review the footage? I can't. I guess something's gonna happen now. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hello! You spooky fucking weirdo. Oh, okay. That's not good. Wait a second, didn't you just look at me from there? There? You fucking freaky thing. She has a key in her mouth, should I take it? Yeah, we should. Okay. Jeez, mate, if you want your key back, just ask. You're happy to take it, happy to give it to you. like they're working with ruins or something. Yeah, they're cutting people up. Okay. Right, there was a locked door upstairs. Let's go check it out. Here? Yes, here we go. Ah, we have a puzzle. Hands? Oh, I saw these symbols. Uh-oh. Um, I saw these symbols downstairs on that shelf. Oh, what the fuck, man? I can't leave. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was a good effect. I like that. Right, okay, we need to go check those symbols. Uh, 
downstairs in that kitchen room. Over here, right. Body's gone, of course it is. Okay, so is that one that will pitch for? Say, go ahead. Antlers, antlers, pitchfork, Satan head. That's what we're going with. And that means the code, if we go back up here, is 1184. Uh, 1184. Whatever the code is going to be, or wherever the code is going to be. It's 1184. Come over there. I think we need to go this way. 245 1184. Can manipulate the clock. There we go. We have our screwdriver. Easy peasy. Now we have to go down to the basement. Yo. I mean, I remember that code because I have a feeling we're going to need it when something crucial happens. As I've watched some people play... Well, not watch, but I've seen some people playing this, but I haven't actually played much into it myself or seen much into it. So we're going to have to see. Ah, yeah, there we go. So it's 1184. Going to hell, boys. Oh, no. Is that friend going to come or what? Oh, yep, yeah, there she is. She's just walking off the gunshot wound. do it I'll follow you okay cool we're running uh oh oh we gotta get out of here okay oh fuck um this way I didn't think that we'd actually have to run nope not this way fuck 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 Oop. oh he shot me damn okay Right, so we gotta do it again. I didn't expect it to be an actual thing, right. Let's just follow the bloodstains. That might be the way. Following the bloodstains. What could possibly go wrong? There's probably a spooky monster down here. Ooh, shit. Go, 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 go. Ouch. Follow the signs. Don't even know what they mean, but yeah, sure. Oh, that's a sheer drop. Okay. Hey, buddy. You maybe not want to shoot? Oh. Well, then. That thing was real. Ah. Someone's coming. Hello? <laughs> yeah, oh my god, what have I done? That man had a gun, right? That was the right thing to do, yeah? Just beat him in the head, one tap. Okay, so oh. The store's now open. Oh, it's a person. Hello. Doing a satanic ritual. To a weird demon. And a spooky smile at the end. Thank you for playing Project Celine. If you want Celine's story to continue, the only way is to support the community so that it can grow and be completed. The game is a very early stage of development. Since this is a prototype. Ah, it's a prototype. Okay. And uh, as a development in order to learn and experiment with new techniques and methods, all this to be able to completely improve the game I'm currently working on, unbearable. I invite you to take a look if you like Project Celine, since it's a similar experience but longer and more complex. Unbearable. Alrighty, boys, and that was Project Celine. It was pretty interesting for what it was an experimental kind of prototype to show off what the dev can do and for him to test new things. For the most part, I kind of enjoyed it. The puzzles were pretty okay. They kind of were just generic survival horror things, but I'm a sucker for survival horror, so I'm always down for puzzles like that. 
and it looked like most of the uh, experimenting slash design went into Celine herself. So I kind of think that this might be just a test to see how he designs more realistic characters. Celine actually reacted to her environment and stuff like that, which was kind of well done. It was a prototype, so I'm not really going to knock it much, but pretty much everything else about it wasn't really that great. The scenery wasn't too good. It was very easy to get clips on things, which you will likely not see because I edited them out. And there wasn't really anything highlighting parts of the map. So you kind of had to inspect absolutely everything just to see if there was anything you can interact with. As well as that, the sound was extremely repetitive. But again, I have a feeling this was just designed to show off Celine. And then, of course, uh, future characters he can base off that. But I don't know. Either way, that was Project Celine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, of course, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, what I'm going to do is, as always, leave a link in the description below to both Project Celine, the game he mentioned, Unbearable, I think it was, as well as the dev himself, so you can follow him, check out what he's doing and stuff like that. I'm going to leave the video right here, though. You've all been truly amazing, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a good one. Ha, 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 ha.